view of Dark of the Moon Star Screen, Deluxe Star Screen. As you can see, is a F22 Raptor. Okay, and apparently, you can see he has uh, tattoos, alien tattoos all over his uh, uh, the uh, aircraft mode. You can see there's an obvious uh, Decepticon logo here, and this is a Cybertronian uh, logo. Uh, which would represent a Decepticon, I guess. I'm not sure. And as you can see, apparently his um, color scheme is basically um, gray. This is his uh, undercarriage view with his um, landing gear out. And this is his uh, mech tech weapon. Okay, and you have his, uh, there's his uh, cockpit here, which is a translucent, see through uh, yellow. And this is his undercarriage shoe, as I said just now. And you can see a lot of uh, robot parts. This is his hand, his fist, his legs. Yeah, basically, this is a good representation of Starscream from the ROTF leader, uh, the uh, hunt of the hunt for the Decepticons leader class uh, Starscream. Yeah. As you can see, his uh, tattoos are all over the place, and. This is a spectrum element which you can uh, disassemble over here. And if you focus on the weapon by pushing this part forward, you actually get a, uh, a gigantic blade over here, which can form to a double sided weapon by plugging in this. It looks like a more of a double-bladed weapon here. Focus in on the weapon, you can see some, uh, if you extend it out on the blade, you can see some Cybertronian uh, uh, deta detailing here. And some words on the knife, I mean on the uh, knife. You can see a nice detail sculpted over here. And as for the, this blade, you can see his uh, Cybertronian writings here and here. It's a shame that it could uh, they could not actually get the uh, more painted detail on those this on the uh, weapons itself. And as for Starscream, if you want to transform him, you put in the uh, put in the landing gear over here. Put them down this way. Put this uh, <coughs> put this down, putting this down, this will actually fold up, but before I can do that, I have to remove the uh, plastic first, the rubber band. You actually fold up here. After lifting and folding this down, lift this up, upward, you must wiggle it, <coughs> so it will be a bit loose. Okay, the same goes for the other one. We go look, take it out, fold this out, and you can see this is his uh, uh, Star Screams uh, Lake, which looks like a chicken lake to me. Okay, turn this about and around, position this properly. to form um, Starscream's uh, lake okay but if you put him his leg this way and put this back in his original position it's like uh, Starscream on gear walk mode in Macross Also, you have his legs coming up to the crouch area, and uh, pull this section out. After that, go to the cockpit section, bring this up, bring the hands up this way. You need to do 
now is uh, pull out the hands oops and it's on the ball joint take, take, this, take this out I'll put this back in it's on the ball joint the same goes for the other hand pull it outwards just like this after getting that done fold this section up put this down and you will review the head put this back in and there you have Starscream's head what you need to do next is turn at the back bring this out fold this thing out here okay same goes for the other side Yes, fold this out. Okay. By doing that, after that, it'll, this will fold up behind here. The same goes. And you have a pack here, which goes into the uh, hole here. Pack this in. this way and that way so it's packed in really nicely what you need to do is push this in a bit rotate the arms down take out the uh, the hands the same goes for the other arm put it down angle it properly and you here you have star screen in his uh, robot mode this is the uh, back portion put this portion back here and here you have Starscream in his robot mode and he has uh, this is a good repre 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 representation uh, excuse my English I'm mumbling uh, representation of the uh, leader class Starscream okay and he has uh, this is uh, his head sculpt which can See, you can't. You, you said you can rotate 360 degrees. There's no lead piping. Very vicious face. Okay, he has articulation on his arms, elbow, and finger. Can rotate 360 degrees. This way. The legs has articulation as well on the. Uh, uh, Thigh, shoulder, uh, thigh, knee, and feet. Up, down. His, uh, basically, his color scheme is in a uh, uh, his uh, uh, normal grayish color, light gray. And this is a uh, his in his deluxe mode, and you can see some tattoos here on his uh, legs, hands, chest piece here head, wings, and all over in the back portion as well. Screen. His uh, weapons, MacTech, is able to slot into this uh, his uh, this uh, MacTech port here on both arms. Both arms here, but uh, it's not actually essential to do that. And another way you can hide his weapons is by packing it here at the back of his wings. Over here. And you have uh, Star Scream with his, uh, with his uh, jetpack, so called jetpack. Anyway, I'll take him out right now. Because so you don't have to do that. Star Scream's uh, weapon. Put this in here. Combine this. It takes some doing. And you have 
and he has a uh, double bladed weapon you can put you can plug it in here on his hand on the Mac tech port here or you can have star scream holding his weapon like, like that this actually uh, doing this way I prefer him to put his weapons as they are at the back so they won't look so rid ridiculous over here and the preference is totally up to you what you want to what what you want to uh, put him at okay here he is with his uh, with cop the scepter Thundercracker and Drift from Generations. This is the uh, size comparison. And this is Thundercracker. Size so comparison to uh, the OTM Star Scratch. Here you have a uh, cup, cup and perceptor. As you know, perceptor is a bit uh, almost similar height to uh, star screen. As of uh, cup is definitely taller. He has, this is, has been a uh, review of Dark of the Moon, star screen. Dark of the Moon's kids.